Liraglutide is a GLP-1 analog used in the management of type 2 diabetes mellitus and prevention of cardiovascular complications associated with diabetes. In this video, let's find found. What is liraglutide? What is liraglutide used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking liraglutide? How does liraglutide work? How to use liraglutide? What is liraglutide? Liraglutide, sold under the brand names Victoza and Saxenda among others, is an anti-diabetic medication used to treat type 2 diabetes and chronic obesity. It is a second-line therapy for diabetes following first-line therapy with metformin. Its effects on long-term health outcomes like heart disease and life expectancy are unclear. It is given by injection under the skin. Liraglutide was approved for medical use in the European Union in 2009 and in the United States in 2010. In 2020, it was the 146th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 4 million prescriptions. What is liraglutide used for? Saxenda, a formulation of liraglutide intended for weight loss, is indicated as an adjunct to diet and exercise for chronic weight management in adult patients who are obese, BMI greater than or equal to 30 kg M2, or who are overweight, BMI greater than or equal to 27 kg M2, and have at least one weight-related comorbidity. It is also indicated for chronic weight management in pediatric patients greater than or equal to 12 years old who weigh greater than or equal to 60 kilograms and have an initial BMI corresponding to obesity based on international cutoffs. Victoza, a formulation of liraglutide used in diabetes, is indicated as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in patients greater than or equal to 10 years old with type 2 diabetes mellitus. It is also indicated to reduce the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events in adult patients with type 2 diabetes and established cardiovascular disease. Liraglutide is also available in combination with insulin deglutec as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adult patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Contraindication Victoza is contraindicated in patients with a personal or family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma, MTC, or in patients with multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, MEN2. Victoza is contraindicated in patients with a prior serious hypersensitivity reaction to Victoza or to any of the product components. Side effects Some common side effects of liraglutide include Headache. Constipation. Heartburn. Runny nose, sneezing, or cough. Tiredness. Difficulty urinating or pain or burning on urination. Injection site rash or redness. Pharmacodynamic. Liraglutide is a once-daily GLP-1 derivative for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. The prolonged action of liraglutide is achieved by attaching a fatty acid molecule at position 26 of the GLP-1 molecule, enabling it to bind reversibly to albumin within the subcutaneous tissue and bloodstream and be released slowly over time. Binding with albumin results in slower degradation and reduced elimination of liraglutide from the circulation by the kidneys compared to GLP-1. The effect of liraglutide is the increased secretion of insulin and decreased secretion of glucagon in response to glucose as well as slower gastric emptying. Liraglutide also does not adversely affect glucagon secretion in response to low blood sugar. Mechanism of Action Liraglutide is an acylated synthetic glucagon-like peptide 1 analog. Liraglutide is an agonist of the glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor, which is coupled to adenylate cyclase. The increase in cyclic AMP stimulates the glucose-dependent release of insulin, inhibits the glucose-dependent release of glucagon, and slows gastric emptying to increase control of blood sugar. Half-life Terminal half-life of 13 hours Dose Type 2 diabetes mellitus Victoza only 0.6 mg SCQ day for one week initially, then increase to 1.2 mg Q day. 
if glycemic control not achieved, can increase to 1.8 mg q day. Initial dose of 0.6 mg SCQ day is only to decrease GI adverse effects and does not provide glycemic control. Indications As an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with type 2 diabetes mellitus. To reduce the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events, cardiovascular death, non-fatal myocardial infarction, or non-fatal stroke, in adults with type 2 diabetes mellitus and established cardiovascular disease. Obesity. Saxenda only. Adjunctive therapy to a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity for chronic weight management in adults with a body mass index, BMI, of greater than or equal to 30 kg per square meter, obese, or a BMI of greater than or equal to 27 kg per square meter, overweight, who have at least one weight-related condition, for example, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, dyslipidemia. Initiate at 0.6 mg SCQ day for one week, increase by 0.6 mg per day in weekly intervals until a dose of 3 mg per day achieved. If patients do not tolerate an increased dose during dose escalation, consider delaying dose escalation for one additional week. Discontinue if a patient cannot tolerate the 3 mg dose, as efficacy has not been established at lower doses, for example, 0.6, 1.2, 1.8, 2.4 mg. Evaluate change in body weight 16 weeks after initiating Saxenda. Discontinue Saxenda if the patient has not lost at least 4% of baseline body weight. Safety advice. Liraglutide for the treatment of obesity carries a pregnancy category X and should not be used during pregnancy. Due to its effects on delaying gastric emptying, liraglutide could delay the absorption of orally administered medications. The drug is supplied in a pen device and is dosed in 0.6 mg increments. That's all the information about liraglutide we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.